very easily. And the key is to have a sharp knife. So you don't want to ever try doing this with a dull knife. You will, you will regret it. Okay. See how easily these cut through? Just like that. Like that. A little push. A little push. There we go. Now I want to take these little parts and clean them up a little bit. Because you've got uh, the swoops. Parts go flying. You got this uh, plastic on here you want to take off. Uh, that was from being attached to this uh, holder. Here, so uh, I'm going to take my exacto knife and just very carefully. And probably better off doing it on the table here. Yeah, that's better. Better to do it on the table. Just follow along the line. Up oh, there we go. Right there, just cut this off. Just do it. Trim it like that. That's all there is to it. That's all you really need to do. Whoop, 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 whoop. Where am I? Where am I? Okay. See? That's all cleaned off now. Here's one. Here's another one that needs a little cleaning. I'm going to clean that off. You see these two little parts here? These little uh, sprues sticking out. I'm going to take those, set it on the table. Yeah, it's actually better to do that if you can. Cut against a firm surface. I mean, sometimes you need to. Uh, hold things in a way that may put your fingers at risk, but um, you want to try to avoid doing that. You don't want to have to deal with uh, any nasty necks or cuts. Let me get that, get this cleaned off here. There, yeah. all right. I think we're, we're in good shape now. All right, let's look at the old diagram. Make sure we're getting these oriented correctly. Uh, we don't want to screw that up. And again, this is where these uh, uh, gates, discharge gates, have pins on the bottom. They're going to fit in the holes like that. Like so. Actually, these hold in pretty good. And then I'm just going to go ahead and put a little dab of that uh, cement in there to hold them in place. So let me just go ahead and stick these all on because it looks like the holes are holding these gates in pretty good. I think I might be able to get away with putting them all on and then just dabbing them all at once. Let's do that. And kill, uh, kill four birds with one stone in one setting rather than do this... Uh, um, one at a time. We'll do them all at once. Oh, we got this. We got this, this problem child here. This is not. Ah, there we go. There we go. This one not fitting in properly. Like I say, this would probably be a little bit easier to do in HO scale, uh, since we're talking about uh, the parts being bigger. Now let's make sure I've got these oriented right. And compare them against the manual. Let's hold it like that, hold it like this. And yeah, yeah, we're good to go. We're good to glue these on. Okay. Yeah, all right, make sure. Now, I'll take my little bottle here, take a little bit, and just make sure these are on. No gaps in there. Let me check on the other side. All right, they're in firmly. We're okay. A little dab and just on there, on there. Just a little dab. And that'll be enough to hold these in place. Like that. A little bit more. Oops, I mean about too much, but it's okay. There. A little bit there, a little bit there. There. All right, and uh, we've got these in place now. Uh, so, oh, what's next? I think I'll go. What if I done, have I done this in the past? Oh yeah, now we're going to do the um, airlines on the bottom of a hopper. 
And this is where it starts getting a little trickier. These parts are pretty small and fussy, so uh, we will we'll roll with it. Okay, here are the airlines airlines and brake lines and I'm gonna cut them off let's see yeah, let's put them right here with my knife and uh, these this parts here this actually you want to cut these airlines off as close to this uh, holder as possible because these are actually going to fit into the holes at the bottom of your um, hopper car so you don't want to just trim them off cleanly okay you don't want to cut them off by the hose here I mean by the actual line itself you want to go as close to this as possible because these are actually posts that are going to go into those holes there and that'll hold us in place so uh, let me show you let me cut this off here off. Oops. Oh, there we go. Goes flying a little bit. Let me do this here. Yeah. Here. There we go. Get this one off. Cooperate, please. Thank you. There. So yeah, I've cut this off so that these little posts on there are intact. This is not sprue. You don't want to cut this part off completely because that's what's going to hold your brake lines on the car. It's going to fit into the hole. So uh, let me see which side goes which. And yeah, and these holes will match up here. So it's kind of. Uh, nearly impossible to get this wrong see see how they match up so now I'm going to fit this brake line on and uh, just start from one end and work my way back all right so fit that in there Oops, I'm putting it on the wrong side. I flipped my car over. Oh, that happens. Actually, it's uh, these two, um, the uh, sets of holes are lined up differently on different sides of the car, so it's basically impossible to put the wrong brake line on the wrong side of the car. At least, uh, you'd have to really work at it. This is where it gets a little fussy here. There. Heard that snap in? See? Goes like that. Uh, let's go work our way down. That one snapped in. That one. Look at that. We're making progress here. It all snaps in. Flip this over, do this here. And so maybe a situation where I may want to try to take the tweezers and try to squeeze this in rather than try to fumble around with my big fingers. Ah, there we go. That did it. A little light pressure with the tweezers pushes these in place. All right. We do that here. And this is where the tweezers come in handy when you got these little detail parts to work with. I'm we'll kind of take this, squeeze it in. There. Look at that. Okay, we got the brake lines in place on one side, like that. I squeeze this in a little bit more. So, yeah, tweezers are your friend. So, uh, I think I showed you once that these are fairly pointy, sharp point one. This will be good for putting on the railings. And this is one that's not quite as fine point. That was good for, well, you could see what it was good for in getting those uh, railings on. So, uh, brake lines, air lines, 
not railings. 